power calculations in am waves am wave having three components as we know that the standard am wave s of t equal to ac cos omega ct ac mu by 2 cos of omega c plus omega m of t ac mu by 2 cos omega c minus omega m of t so that is this one uh, no uh, message frequency component that's why this one is the unmodulated carrier signal and this one is plus indicates the usb upper side band and minus indicates the lower side band lsb okay so that means the standard am wave having three components unmodulated carrier uh, mod <coughs> lower side band and upper side band now coming to that power consumed by the am wave to transmit from the transmitter to the receiver here uh, we consider power consumed by the carrier signal and power consumed by the side bands so that is side bands is summation of lower side band and upper side band here first you consider power consumed by the uh, carrier signal so that is pc p suffix c so pc equal to vrms into irms as we know that power is equal to v into i power equal to v into i is right so here i uh, taken our power in terms of voltage okay so you just write irms in terms of the vrms so there vrms into vrms by r that is v square rms by r where r is the impedance of the antenna is right so next so here uh, we can take our terms in terms of rms why because our uh, message signal and carrier signal both are in sinusoidal signals so so that's why we having rms component is right so that is uh, pc equal to v square rms by r where vrms equal to we know that the formula vm by root 2 is right substitute that vm by root 2 in vrms so that is v vrms square vm by root 2 whole square by r v square m by here root 2 whole square is 2 into r so now pc equal to ac square by 2r ac square by 2r why because here vm is the amplitude of the message signal here you can see here you see here ac into cos omega ct so this one is the carrier signal is right so here the amplitude of this signal is ac so that's why here uh, pc equal to ac square by 2r okay next coming to power consumed by the power consumed by the lower side band so lower side band equal to here p equal to vrms into irms where v square rms by r and vrms equal to vm by root 2 okay vm by root 2 whole square by r that is equal to v square m by 2r is right next vm amplitude of the lower side band so here amplitude of the lower side band is a c into mu by 2 so substitute that vm equal to ac into mu by 2 so ac into mu by 2 whole square by 2r mu square ac square by 4 into 2r that is eta this is related to power consumed by the lower side band so similarly power consumed by the upper side band also upper side band also uh, mu square ac square <coughs> mu square ac square by eta okay so total sideband power is equal to pus plus plsb so upper sideband power plus lower sideband so upper sideband power is mu square ac square by eta plus lower sideband is mu square ac square by eta so that is 2, 2 into mu square ac square by eta that is mu square ac square by 4r is right so total sideband power is mu square ac square by 4r is right okay so now the total power consumed by the am wave is equal to sideband power plus carrier power so here carrier power is ac square by 2r and sideband power is mu square ac square by 4r okay so here common is ac square by 2r so ac square by 2r of 1 plus here total is common outside so 1 plus mu square by 2 is right so here 2r is common outside here remaining is 2 so that's why mu square by 
टू नैक्स्ट पी टोटल एम ईक्वल टू एसी स्क्वे बै टू आर् इंटू वन प्लस म्यू स्क्वे बै टू एसी स्क्वे बै टू आर् इज नथिंग बट अवर पीसी एस्ट्रेट सो दट मीन पी टोटल ईक्वल टू पीसी इंटू वन प्लस म्यू स्क्वे बै टू सो पी टोटल बै पीसी ईक्वल टू वन प्लस म्यू स्क्वे बै टू आर् यू कैन रईट दिसक्वेशन इन टर्म्स आफ म्यू आलो सो हियर पी टोटल बै पीसी uh you just take this uh, one this side left side uh, then minus 1 that is equal to mu square by 2 is right so next you consider this two this side so that is uh, 2 into p total p total by pc minus 1 that is equal to mu or you can write sorry mu square that is mu equal to under root of 2 into p total by pc minus 1 is right so mu square is the mu square is equal to 2 into p total by pc minus 1 okay so by squaring both sides uh sorry by rooting the both sides here root and square both are cancelled for this side okay then mu is uh, re, uh, remains okay mu equal to under root of this 2 into p total by pc minus 1 okay next here you consider mu equal to uh, zero value okay so when you consider mu equal to zero then p total by pc equal to here we got 1 plus mu square by 2 is right so substitute zero value in this equation then mu equal to zero here we got p total by pc equal to one value is right okay that means p total equal to pc value okay so then p total equal to pc in the sense here we having only carrier signal okay carrier component okay this is not possible case is right you consider mu equal to 1 again so then p total by pc equal to 1 plus mu square by 2 mu is 1 1 square by 2 so that is 1 by 2 so here 1 plus 1 by 2 is 1.5 is right 1 by 2 is 0.5 1 plus 0.5 is 1.5 and p total equal to 1.5 into pc okay so this is the maximum possibility case okay so that is p total equal to 1 by 5 times of the pc or here you consider that is p total by pc equal to 3 by 2 okay so 1 plus 1 by 2 is the 3 by 2 you take uh, 2 as the lcm then 3 by 2 so then 2 into p total is equal to 3 into pc or p total by 3 equal to pc by 2 so total power you just consider three parts okay so in that two parts of the power is consumed by the our carrier signal okay remaining one part is consumed by the side band is right okay so that means carrier signal is consumed by the 66.6% okay and side bands are consumed by the 33.3% power okay so this is the disadvantage in the our am wave